Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hope for elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taza Wolf in the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, this one is going to be a quick hit, straight to the point. This is 2 Timothy uh, 1 and 7. It says, For Yahweh have not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind. It says, for Yahweh have not given us the spirit of fear. Okay, the spirit of fear. The spirit of fear is to fear man. The spirit of fear is to be a coward. The spirit of fear, all right, is to save, your, save yourself, you know, according to the fashion of this world. As Paul said, the fashion of this world shall pass away. So it says, for Yahweh have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So really, we have power and our power is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Our power is this word. Our power, okay, is our connection with our Lord once again. All right. Because he the one that put us in this captivity. He's the one that's going to get us out of this captivity. So it says, but of power. And of love. So our love is the love of the Lord. As Yahweh Shai said, He that love me keep my commandments. He that love me not keep keep not my commandments. So that's love. All right. Love is an action before a feeling. All right. And of love and of a sound mind. Mean what? To be sober. All right. To have a sound a sound mind. All right. Sober. Okay. Our minds are sober. In this truth all right we're not winnowing okay we're not uh, uh, double-minded our mind is sound okay straightforward looking down the straight gate the path of righteousness the path to lead us to salvation all right so now with that scripture being said I had this scripture here um, Isaiah 62 Let's see. 62 and 6 right Isaiah 62 and 6 I have set watchmen upon thy walls O Jerusalem which shall never hold their peace day nor night ye that make mention of the Lord keep not silence alright so the power we have is the power from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to teach his word and I'm going to say that's starting with the Lord's elect, the prophets, okay? Start with our apostles in here, our apostles and elders here at Great Millstone, and the men on down throughout the four corners of the earth, all right? I have set watchmen upon thy walls, meaning he set men, all right, to warn you, okay? To reprove you, correct you. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem is a people before a place. Right now, the people are not in the land of Jerusalem. They are scattered through the four corners. And the majority of us is really is here in Babylon, Babylon the Great, which is known as America, North America. So it says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. All right. So the Lord did not give us the spirit of fear so that we could never hold our peace day nor night. Because Esau comes with the tactics of fear to fear him, threaten you, you know, take away your freedom, your sovereignty, lock you up. But the scriptures say, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. How are we able to do that? By the Lord's unicorn, which is this internet, the internet of things. All right. You know, there's, there's no switch on the internet yet. It might be now, but they have not switched, you know, the lights off as far as the internet. That means that this word have gone out, is going out through the four corners of the earth, day and night, and they're not holding their peace. I was watching the uh, elder brothers earlier in the main camp, Brother Karab, he was uh, speaking, and he made mention about protests, you know, uh, how we've been protesting. Our elders been protesting for over 30 years, and they're elders, okay? So, you know, just fulfilling the saying here, okay? which shall never hold their peace 
day nor night. It says, ye that make mention of the Lord, Yahweh, keep not silence. So we're not supposed to keep silence. All right. You know, give it your all, man. Whatever oracles and talent, the oracle and the talent that the Lord gave you, you know, don't hold back. All right. What What is it else here to, to lose? We have nothing. All right. The scriptures say where your mind is is where your treasure is. Roughly paraphrasing, where your mind is is where your treasure will be. So if your mind is fixed on the Lord, that will be your treasure. You know, our main primary thoughts, you know, is on the Lord, man. And especially in the time of this beginning of Jacob's trouble. All right. Ye that make mention of the Lord, Yahweh, keep not silence. It says, verse 7, and give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth okay and this is gonna happen man we're not gonna stop uh uh give we're not gonna not excuse me we're not gonna give the lord no rest till he establish until he make jerusalem which is a people before a place a praise in the earth all right until they cut the light switch off to the lord bring a famine on his word as the scriptures say make our tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth Make us shut up and be and, and be dumb, all right? Not being able to reprove, correct, ex, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the hopeful elect. Because at that time when the Lord do that, that must mean that the Lord seals the elect, man, okay? You know, the Lord, you know, when the Lord established Jerusalem, make them a praise in the earth, is when Yahweh tried to crack those clouds, all right? When he cracked those clouds, man, and he, he makes it be known who his people are, okay? You know, we're telling you that we're the Lord's people. That's one thing. But when Yahweh Shai come in the brightness of his coming with the holy angels, he's going to let you know. You're going to know who his people are, all right? His people are the Hebrew Israelites, not the black. Not the black. Not the black Hebrew Israelites, but the Hebrew Israelites pertaining to what tribe, uh, all right, that they, they, they from, all right? From, uh, excuse me, from Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Ishakar, Gad, Reuben, and so on. All right. So it says, and give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. All right. So we're not going to give the Lord no rest. You know, we're not going to fear man. Okay. Whether, as Paul said, uh, let me let me get that and I wrap it up with that. Matter of fact, yeah, I, I, let me get that real quick. Um, that's eight. Uh, bear with me. Let me see something. Okay, Romans eight thirty five. Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shah Mashiach? Shall tribulation, nor distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? All right. As it is written, for thou sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all things we are more than conquerors through him that love us. Okay. So the point is. Uh, this lesson here and this quick hit is uh not the fear the lord don't give us the spirit of fear and give the lord no rest until he established the kingdom all right uh let me finish up i'll read 38 for i am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angel nor principality nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh, which is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, our Lord. All right. So give it all you got, brothers. You know, we got to give it all we got, man. Really nothing to hold back. You know, scriptures say where your mind is is where your treasure is, you know. And uh, right now, you know, this is the time of mercy. Seek it as much as you can. You know, if you're a young brother coming in, I know there's a lot of young brothers coming in. You know, brothers I met. And things of that nature, you know, you don't really got this truth like that. The camps are different now, you know, you know, we're talking to the camera, you know, this is what you do. 
All right. First Peter is four and eleven. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of the most high. If any man minister, let him do it as the ability which the most high giveth. So whatever ability, whatever knowledge you have of the Lord, as long as it's 100 percent truth, as long as it's correct. You're OK, man. Put it out there. Put it up. You know, follow great millstone, man. You know, follow their teachings. Get away from these other different camps who teach, you know, false doctrines. You know, pray to Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, you know, that he guide your steps in righteousness. You know, so it says, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of the Most High. If any man minister, let him do it as the ability which the Most High giveth. You know, and each brother got um, different, um, excuse me, got different talents. You know, some brothers are more historians, some brothers are more prophets, some brothers are more better teachers. You know, that's all. It's OK. You know, we striving to be uh, perfect, uh, uh, perfect in all things, even though we're not going to be. But that's OK, because we're a building block. We're a body. OK, we're a body. And you teach according to your ability. But as long as you teach the correct, the correct way. All right. Teach the truth. Don't teach lies. Teach the truth. All right. It says that the most high in all things may be glorified through Yahweh Shah Mashiach, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. All right. All right. So it's important that you don't fear. It's important that we give the Lord no rest till he what? Establish the kingdom. All right. Do these things now, you know, uh, put off that uh, old man, you know, be more. Uh, uh, Scripture say, I'm going to quote it again. Uh, where your heart, where your heart is, is where your treasure is. So put your heart on the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Focus on the Lord. Let the Lord be in all your thoughts. You know. So you know. With that, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Makakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.